wait a second, you guys are approaching. Did you did you know each other before Scrubs? Because you're approaching like 20 years of friendship. No, we did not know each other before Scrubs. We met at the table read, as a matter of fact. Wow. We met at a table read, and for me, Donald turned around, and it was love at first sight. I heard, oh, and there was like a backlight on his beautiful head, and we were off to the races. You know, that's, that's how Rich and I met in Hoboken, New Jersey. Yeah, I, I saw uh, him, he saw me, and it, well, was, uh, it, was, it was destiny. After do you that remember was, where you were when you saw each other yeah, for the first time? The planet in Hoboken. The, is that where we met? The yeah, planet? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, as, as Kavino said, almost uh, 20 years of friendship for you guys. Is that bizarre that it, not, only on, not only through Scrubs, but you've known each other such a big part of your life, from like 20s to 40s. That's bananas, right? That's crazy. I've known him since I was 26 years old. I turned 46 this year. It's ridiculous. You, you never, you know, you hope in life that you, you know, meet someone and you're able to spend the rest of your life with them, I was thinking it would be my wife. It turned out that it's Zach Braff. I'm just gonna keep <laughs> well, listen, I'm, I, I, I introduced him and his wife. I'm godfather to his children. He was married in my backyard. Yes. I mean, it's, it's, it's a dream come true. Okay. You're the best. You're the best third wheel and wingman ever in the history of yeah. wingmen and third wheels. I'm yeah. just doing the math because I know how this works. Again, we've been working together for 16 years, right? We've known each other even before that. So we're we're like 20 years of friendship. Now, if you're the good wingman, then was Donald the cock block when you guys were single? How, how, what, you know what was the? I only cock blocked a couple of times, but it was for his own good, dude. It was for his own good. Like there were a couple of times where it was like, no, I don't give a shit. No. One time we were living together in, uh, in New York, and um, I had a bedroom that didn't have a door on it. And, oh, God, um, no. Why? I was, uh, I was hooking up with a, a lovely young lady, and, Donald, and, I, and, we turn, and we both, like, turn around, and Donald's in the door. We're like, hey, guys, what are you guys doing? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yo, that, was my, that was one of my ultimate cock blocks, but that wasn't, that wasn't because I was trying to ruin the moment for you. Well, I, fortunately, it was just, fortunately, the we door was wide open. Fortunately, we both started cracking up, but it's official that Donald ruined that particular moment. 